Today, I'm going to be making a beat in the style of my favorite artist to listen to in the past couple of weeks, which is Blanco. I'm going for a more experimental sample drill sound. I'm not going for like a dark UK drill beat sound with like a bunch of choirs and everything. I'm going to be using his most recent track, Londis, as a reference. Recently, he's been going for like more like Nux, Sante type sound, which I'm really a fan of. So I'm going to try and replicate that here. So there's probably going to be heavy sampling involved. I'm thinking like an orchestral sample, like a string sample, something like that, something uplifting, something hopeful. For. So yeah, let's just make a start. We are going to need a sample. So we open YouTube. Okay, I haven't recorded one of these in a while. So what, what, do, I, what do I normally search up? Um, uplifting string samples. All right, let's just see what this gives. Uh, okay. I'm not gonna lie. I've already been through so many of these playlists. I don't feel like doing it again. So... Not the vibe I'm going for at all. It's too dark. Am I going to be the first producer to sample a harmonica into a drill beat? Probably not. Let's just move on. I'm, I'm clicking off of this. I don't want to look through any more playlists. All right, let's try this one. What's this? Okay. Bro. We could just take those 20 seconds. Okay, wait. That is crazy. Wait, who made this? Oh, that's why. Okay, it's Caleb Bryan. That explains it all. If you don't know who this guy is, really talented music producer. Genuinely, really good with orchestral sounds. It's like, like in every Spotify gym playlist, so you've definitely heard this one. This is like one of those samples where I'm really hesitant to try and flip it because it sounds so good by itself, like untouched. I almost don't want to try and flip it in case it sounds worse. But, hey man, if there's one thing that UK drill producers have taught me in the past two years, it's that. Like anything can be sampled, I guess, if you try hard enough. Moving on. Uh, Alright, we're going to need to find the BPM. I'm going to take that to be the start of the string sample. It's like 144. Alright, I'm going to set it to like 151 BPM. So I'm going to try and keep it similar to the reference track. I'm going to see if the sample sounds better at like a different pitch. All right, I think the effects are done. It's time for the fun part. This is the ugliest LFL Studio theme I've ever seen. What is going on? This theme looks so ugly, it's killing me.
That's the other one that I always use. Um. extend the drum pattern so that I can create variation in the 808. I like that one. to add a couple more percussion elements and I think we're good. Drums are done, so now I'm just going to mix and arrange the whole beat. Drums are mixed, so let's just hear what it sounds like with the sample. Mix done, time to arrange, so... Pretty simple. a drum fill to that. I'm also going to add like an orchestral hit as well. And then I'm going to add one more drum fill. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how the beat turned out. Once again, I know the sample carried me through the whole thing. It sounds really good though, very simple. Uh, I think it sounds really similar to the reference track, mostly because the string melodies are really similar in both tracks. Oh yeah, one more thing. A couple of weeks ago, I think we hit a thousand subs on the channel. So thank you for that. I'm very appreciative, of course. Like I know realistically it's not that deep, but it is also a thousand more than I ever thought I would have. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. If you are not subscribed for whatever reason, I don't know 
why you wouldn't possibly be subscribed but feel free to subscribe let me know what other genres or styles you want me to cover and i'll see what i can do just leave a comment below overall the support on the channel has been great especially on the like don Tolliver video i don't know why people like that one specifically but hey man i'm not gonna complain thanks again for the support and let's just listen to the beat and see what i could improve on for next time